Okay, so this is a demonstration of how you might draw planes and then find intersections with a stereo net for the module Ground and Highway Engineering at the University of the West of Scotland. Um, in this particular module, because I have a rock mechanics background, I'm not especially a geologist, but rather than plotting things with dip direction and dip amount, uh, with strike and dip, which is what geologists normally do, we are working in dip direction and dip amount. So you need to start with a stereo net. This is a hemispherical uh, stereo net. And you find the center of it. You need a push pin. Find the center of the stereo net from the front. Push the push pin through it. And then come to the back and push it fully through so that you have it like that. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to draw three planes. Uh, the first plane is dip direction 45, dip amount 50. The second is dip direction 220, dip amount 60. And the third one is dip direction 120, dip amount 70. So you line up uh, the tracing paper over the stereo net, and then you just push that through there. First thing you need to do is you need to draw the outer circle of the stereo net. I'm going to find the north point on the stereo net that's at the very top. I'm going to mark it with the letter N for north. And then I'm just tracing this outside circle. On the outer edges of this, uh, the, that circle that I've just traced, that is where we're going to find the dip direction. So the first one I want to do is 45. So we come over here on um, this particular stereo net. The lines are slightly bolded each 10. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, and there's 45. And I'm just going to mark that and I'm going to put down 45 degrees. I'm looking for 220. South is 180, 190, 200, 210, 220. So I'm going to mark 220 for there. And the last one is 120. Um, due east is 90. So there's 90, 100, 110, 120. And I've now marked that as 120. The dip amount is always measured along the east-west axis. A plane that had zero dip would, mat, uh, would be just traced along the outer edge of the circle. As that gets steeper and steeper, if we had something that had a dip amount of 90 degrees, it would be a line that went from the North Pole down to the South Pole. And so to draw the plane, you always have to be drawing it on that east-west axis. And so if the first one I want to draw is uh, dip direction 45, dip amount 50. So I rotate the 45 until we're over here on the east-west line. And now we're going to count in 50 uh, again. The each, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That, uh, let's call that A. I've put a little mark there to say that's where the center of it is. And now I'm going to trace this back. This is called a great circle. Of, uh, any line that goes from the South Pole to the North Pole or vice versa 
It's called a great circle, and I'm just tracing it along there. The next one, which we'll call B, is the 220 and 60. So I find the 220 line. As I say, you can do it, you do it on the east-west line. Uh, here I'm going to go over to the western side. And now I'm counting in 60 degrees. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I'm going to put that there and identify it as B. And then I'm going to trace out the great circle. And then the last one, which we'll call C, is 12070. So I find the 120 mark out on the outer edge bring it over to the east-west line of the stereo net, and then I want to count in 70 degrees, or count out, this is 90, 80, 70. So again, let's put a mark there to identify that as uh, joint set C. And now I'm tracing a great circle. So that is the three planes now plotted. Now what I'm at, normally what you would want to do is you would want to find the trend and the plunge of the intersections. So where plane A intersects with uh, plane C, that is intersection AC. Where B intersects with C, that is BC, and where A intersects with B is AB. So to find the trend, the trend is the line that these two planes make when they intersect. It's, and if you were to look at it in plan, they come in, they form a line, and that's the bearing of that line. You take the intersection point and you bring it to the east-west line, and then you put a mark there, and in this case, I've identified it as AC. I'm going to come over here. Again, I'm putting it on the east-west line. I come to the edge. I put a mark there, and that is AB. And then finally, this is the BC intersection. I'm on the east-west line, and I identify that as BC. Now to find the trend, I have to bring the stereo net so that the north of the stereo net lines up with the north of the tracing paper, which I've done now. And now I can read, I can go here and I can read exactly what that trend value is. So there is, if that's 45, this is 50, 52, 54, 56, 57 degrees. Uh, this one here, I've got a, I've already made a mark at 120. So there's 130 and there's 132 degrees. That's for AB. And the last one down here is BC. That's south, which is 180. I'm about two degrees over there. So that's 182 degrees. So I've now got the trend of those three uh, intersections. Now to find the plunge, I have to move here to the east-west line, and I'm simply counting from the outer circle to that point of intersection, and that will give me the plunge. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm gonna call that 49 degrees. That's this distance from here to there and that's the plunge. I'll use the letter P for that. For AB, I'm gonna bring it over here to the east-west line, and I'll write here, that's two degrees, four degrees, so plunge 
four degrees. And for BC, again, I'm on the east-west line, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50, and then that distance there is 52 degrees. And I might just summarize that down here. AB, um, BC, and then AC. And here is trend, and here is plunge. So the trend for AB is 132 degrees, and the plunge was 4 degrees. The, uh, trend for BC was 182 degrees and the plunge was 52 degrees and for AC the trend was 57 degrees and the plunge was 49 degrees. Now there is, will be some model answers out there. They might well differ by sub, a couple of degrees which is quite acceptable because this is a hand technique. But that's how you draw a stereo net.